I don't know. I think confidence is big on the power play. I think you see a couple go in, get a little bit of momentum going, and everything just kind of loosens up. And um, obviously going through this stretch, I think that at times we're overthinking it, kind of tight at certain times in the game and um, forcing plays a little bit too much. And I think if we simplify our game and just focus on the process, we've got good players who are going to get the job done. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Alex, what, what are the priorities tonight? What do you want to get out of this game? Um, feeling good going into playoffs. I think that the process is big, playing a complete game. Um, obviously, having everyone healthy going into playoffs. Uh, and yeah, just feeling good about ourselves as we kind of gear up for Montreal. What was the focus that work you guys were doing at the end of the morning skate today? I think that it was more so just to kind of get some of those guys some reps who haven't um, who haven't been playing for Himes and Nash. Obviously, it's unfortunate that they haven't been able to get into a game. And, um, but I think that they're feeling good, feeling healthy now, and um, getting them uh, some reps before playoffs was kind of the main thing. Yeah, for sure. I think that's important. But um... You know, we still have a lot of things that we're focused on in terms of getting our game right before playoffs. So really, we want to just put together a complete game and uh, play the best way we feel is possible. But when you have this type of uh, break, I guess, between now and next Thursday, is that a bit off? Sorry, I lost you for a second. Can you repeat that? Yeah. Sorry, when you, um, when you have this much time between now and the first playoff game, it's kind of odd, obviously, do you? Uh, does that really matter in the grand scheme of things uh, as far as that goes? Because I imagine like a good half in place now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is odd. And, um, you know, I know that we're anxious to get – we're going to get started a little bit later than everybody else, but that's okay. And um, we'll get a couple of days of practice, recovery time for guys that are nursing injuries, and uh, we'll be good to go. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Justin, as you guys finish, you know, it was kind of an unusual regular season. You know, what do you think is the biggest uh, thing that you've accomplished as a team to this point? Um, well, I think just putting ourselves in a position to compete for a Stanley Cup, you know, um, not only winning our division or not only making the playoffs, but winning our division and putting ourselves in a good spot uh, that way. And, um, you know, we accomplished what we what we set out to and. I've said it before, but I think, you know, we all know that the real work starts now and everything that we've accomplished up to this point doesn't really mean a whole lot. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Justin, uh, I know you guys want to finish strong, but what are you expecting from this this game tonight? Because obviously Winnipeg is, is locked in as well. So what do you think this game's going to be like? Yeah, I would assume it's going to be two teams that are trying to, uh, you know, feel good about themselves going into playoffs. Uh, this is an important game just to um, have the right systems in place, be playing the right way, and um, you know have good team confidence going into playoffs. So I think it's going to be a competitive game, uh, even though standing-wise there isn't a lot to compete for, obviously. What inspired you to get involved with the uh, NFT, and how did that come together? Um, honestly, my agent kind of took care of most of it, and um, they were interested. They had been doing a lot of research and trying to figure out how to kind of get into the market and if this is going to be the next thing or whatever. And me being a Toronto player where there's a little bit more visibility, I think um, I was an easy pick for them. So I'm a, a bit of a guinea pig, but uh, it's kind of been fun to just to see how it goes. Priorities are to, to play well, have good habits, uh, you know, do what we can to win the game and, and uh, probably most importantly, get out of it healthy. Any lineup changes tonight? One change, uh, Brooks will be in for Marner. Is that just to rest Mitch, or how did uh, you come to that? Yeah, just to, just to rest Mitch. Obviously, he's had a, a big workload here for us all the way through, so good opportunity to, to get uh, Brooksy in. He was our only eligible player um, to, to play today, so we made that switch. Next up, we'll go to Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Chris. Sheldon, just in being around the guys, I'm wondering, do you think it's been tough for them to focus on what's in front of them today, just given the playoffs and everything coming after? Yeah, I think it it is. I mean, as much as you're talking about it, you're trying to keep the team focused. You know, you want to finish the season strong. You know, they, they know what's around the corner and, and they know what's at stake and all those kind of things. So, you know, you, you've got to play 56 games. There's 56 on the schedule. So we're here tonight. And, um, you know, like I said, 
you there's there's a list of things you want to make sure that you that you have in the game uh, the most important one for us is to just uh, you know get through it healthy and and feel good about ourselves when we when we leave here and I, re- reality is we will feel good when we leave here because you know you've completed uh, part of the journey and, and you've earned the right to continue on past today not every team in the league is has done that uh, but we've earned the right to to push on beyond today and we're excited about that Next up, we'll go to Greg Ross, CBC. Go ahead, Greg. Hey, Sheldon. Uh, most of the guys in the team, including yourself, were, weren't even born the last time the Leafs met the Canadians in the in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, what's the thought? I mean, it, it, do guys realize, uh, recognize just the significance of a player like this with the history between these two clubs? Yeah, I think I think it's natural that you would recognize that. Um, I think it's unspoken, though. I, I haven't heard uh, much about that, but I think that's uh, that's uh, reality. You recognize the the history and and what it would mean to, to the two cities and the fan bases, uh, you know, that support uh, both teams, which is obviously uh, significant. Uh, it's a shame that the fans in the building uh, for it, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, you look you look across the league, whether it's you know in the Canadian division, you know. The, Montreal and, and Toronto and, and then Edmonton and Winnipeg. I mean, you know, if if, if uh, these were going to be the four teams that made it, they, those are the matchups that I think people would, would have wanted to see. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's exciting for the fans, and, and that's it's great, you know, for the way that the season has has been. That that's the way it worked out.